Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is October 20th, 2018. Today I'm in Amy, Louisiana. And man, we are far from the Abbey. We're probably like 40, 45 miles from the Abbey. And today we're looking at some bees in a house. Well, it's, I think it's a storage house. Um, and the owner's getting ready to uh, renovate this. And uh, he asked if I could come get the bees out of here before they start their renovation. I'm watching right now, the bees have got a yellow jacket and they just killed it. I'm watching, they, they're getting on the bottom, they just dropped it down on the bottom. So these bees, it's, they're a little, it's, they're exposed at the bottom end right here. And uh, they really have this thing guarded up. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, what, we, what I've got today, I've got a great guest with me today. One of the seminarians from the college. We got, <laughs> we have Jesse here with us. I, I talked him into uh, coming wrangling the bees with us. And uh, he, he cleaned uh, the woodwork shop for us. He was one of the seminarians cleaning the wood shop for us two semesters ago. And uh, so now he's, he says he, he wants to get a taste of bee wrangling. And of course he does sub to my channel. So that's why I let him come with me. So by the grace of God, these A meat bees, they're coming up to the Abbey with us in just a little while. Let's wrangle. All right, so <laughs> got our new guy right here, Jesse. Um, he's got his first bee weapon in his life he sold him. What is that called, Jesse? It's called the smoker. A smoker. See that? The guy is just, he, he's been a viewer for so long, he's very familiar with terminology. So this is the first time that Jesse's operated one of these pieces of machinery, but uh, I'm sure he can do a very good job. So Je uh, Jesse, have at it, brother. <laughs> Those son of a guns, they're not there. They're not in the wall. Well, that made us look bad. Oh, wow. Well, after successfully removing the siding from the, from the house and discovering the bees were not there and they weren't under the house, we came inside and now we have discovered where the bees are. They are in the bottom of this cabinet. Look at this. They're in the bottom of it. So what we're going to attempt to do is I strapped those handles on there to pull that section off, but more than likely the bees are covering the whole underneath side of this cabinet. And so uh, we're going to take the cabinet off from the wall and just set it on the on uh, drop it on its bottom or its, its front and uh, and see if we can um, remove the bees that way because there's no telling how long the, uh, the hive is. Well, we've removed the part of it right there and, and so you can see where the comb is is at this part right here and underneath the cabinet. Look at this underneath the cabinet. So this may be the whole hive right here, but I'm still suspecting that there's comb underneath this section as well. So we're going to start our vacuum and vacuum these little girls up right here and uh, start cutting out this comb and moving this out of the way and then moving on.
So I vacuumed up um, the bees that were on this section of the comb. Man, lots of hog beetles up in there, lots of them. Um, and now I'm going to turn my attention to really the main part of the hive. This is beneath the bottom of the cabinet. And you can see there's only about three inches of space underneath there. And uh, they've got that thing just packed. There's no telling how far back that comb goes. I'm sure it goes the whole way. And look at the number of bees on this. This is a lot of bees, folks. So Jesse, he's uh, doing the camera work here for us. So if it doesn't look good, blame it on him, not me. <laughs> now I'm going to see if I can lift this up. I, I may not, it may be too heavy for me. Feels like the cone is sticking to the floor. Set that go with it. Well, folks, that is one massive hive. Unbelievable. What I was doing for the last 20 minutes is vacuuming the bees uh, down off the floor. You can see the entrance to the hive right where that daylight is coming through, right there. And uh, the bees are still coming in, so I'm going to get those bees as well. But for right now, I'm going to turn my attention to these guys right here. This is just beautiful. Look how healthy these bees are. It's like everywhere you look, there's bees. I mean, there's the sound of bees is, is deafening in here. It really is. Um, there's just bees in the windows. Look at, look at this over here. It's almost like you got a swarm over here. Look at that. So, we're going to uh, get the bees on the comb first, and then we're going to use the uh, Everything Bee Vac and uh, the little portable one, and we're going to get all these guys. So we'll get them all before we leave. But for right now, I got my queen cage ready. I'm going to start vacuuming these girls and looking for our queen. Cutting comb and vacuuming bees and looking for our queen. I mean, there's, there's a lot of empty comb. I mean, this is old comb. This is, gee whiz, it might be three-year-old comb in here. It's old. All right. Let's uh, start vacuuming bees and praying to God for show us a queen.
So what I do is I, I whittle the hive apart and I take this rear part of it off um, because what's going to happen is you can see I leave where the majority of the bees are at this end and I, I've taken off where the, the honey stores were on this end. And I do this so that when I start vacuuming and removing these bees here, they're going to run away from where I'm vacuuming. So they're going to run out to this area right here. And when they get out into this open area, if the queen is out in there, I can spot her uh, a lot easier in the open like this um, as opposed to on the comb. And as well as this overhang, the bees will just go ahead and start gathering underneath there. And at that point, I can just grab handfuls of them and vacuum and look for the queen at that point. So I'm running out of camera, battery on my camera because this is taking so long. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, vacuum these girls up and uh, see, uh, see if we can get our queen in this thing. Thank you, Jesus. Well, look at that. I'm telling you, this is, uh, this is brutal in here, folks. I'm not going to lie to you. You think that this is just a little, it's just because the comb is small and we're working up here, it's just miserable in here. But uh, Jesus blessed us with that queen. So this is, this is great. We'll just set her on the side, vacuum these bees, cut this comb, and we can move a heck of a lot faster now. Man, that is nice. Thank you, Jesus. Well, there ain't no more hive. It's all gone now. It's all gone now. Still got some more bees on the ground to vacuum up. And of course, the big massive pile of bees over there with our queen. Just gonna, and we're going to finish this up and we'll show you the bees after we got them all vacuumed up. Well, folks, I am not going to lie to you. I am from war out. We got here right at 9 o'clock, and it's just a little after 2 right now. And uh, we still got to get up to the Abbey and frame up these, uh, frame up the comb and put them in the box. And here's our bees, and I guarantee this is every bit of 15, 18,000 bees. This is a lot of bees in here, guys. That is a lot of bees. And, of course, we got our queen right there in the cage, in fact. That's good. All right, so we're headed back up to the Abbey right now, and uh, I'm gonna let Jesse do all the work now. <laughs> all right, we'll see y'all up at the Abbey. Well, we finally got back up to the Abbey and framed up all of our comb. And um, what we did was uh, we wound up, I think, as four frames of, of brood comb and uh, six frames of, of uh, honey. And because that comb was, was uh, so shallow, we were able to um, double up and then to, to make our uh, frame up. So I, I want to work kind of fast because there's, there's raw honey up in here, spilled honey, and it's gonna, the robbing will start. So I just want to kind of show you kind of quickly. Um, what, what our frames look like. So this would be an example of the, um, the brood frame where we just stack them right on top. And this is a, an example of a honey frame. And all this honey, all these honey frames are dry. So I'm not worried about that, but we do have some runny honey. And these, the bees out here, they'll smell that and they will come a running. So when I, when I, after I release the queen, uh, I'm not even gonna open my gate. I'm just gonna pull the screen out, just a, about, maybe about two inches to allow all the bees 
uh, to come up because I do not even want to let the bees fly in today. I'll let them fly tomorrow and rearrange everything tomorrow. So let's go ahead and turn our queen loose right now. So we're gonna turn it loose on one of these nice combs of frame, a brood frame. So here we are. And there she is. She just, whoo, she just flew down into the box. <laughs> she was ready to come out. So anyway, she's in our box now. That wasn't very ceremonious either. Fortunately, I pushed her down inside, so not, no harm was done. But we know we, our queen's inside. And everything is closed up now. Remember, I'm not going to pull this because what I did last time when uh, when I, I pulled that out, the uh, when I removed the gate to let the bees fly, they started robbing it out. I had to close the gate. So I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to leave the gate closed tonight, let the bees move up onto that comb, clean it up, and then tomorrow when I come up here and, and, and rotate these things out, put the uh, bottom screen bottom board on it and take, take this box out of here, at that point, then they'll be able to fly. So let's go ahead and pull out, and I'm just gonna do this just a little, pull the screen out just a few inches, just enough so that the bees can can start marching up in the back of it, and then I wanna keep this thing down so I, I don't get any robber bees going in. All right, I think that's all I've got for you on this one. This was a tough, tough cutout. It really was, um, but it all worked out pretty good. So I really got to thank my, my, my seminarian buddy, Jamie, for coming with me on today, doing the video, helping do all the cutout, moving all the equipment. Big help. Thank you, Jamie. And uh, that's all I got for you. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching. I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out of until the next video. Uh, quick note, I don't know who this Jamie person is, but my name is Jesse. <laughs> yeah, and that's how tired I am. I can't even remember the guy's name. I was like, whoa, whoa if I'm going to be on YouTube, you know, I can't let this Jamie person take credit for, for all. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you. Right. Hey, Mr. Ed. Yeah. I mean, we've been asking Siri, like, for directions. Uh, how to get here? Yeah, we were a little bit far from the end. Yeah. Um, I was thinking maybe you should ask Siri where the queen is, because <laughs> Siri knows everything, don't you think? <laughs> no, I don't think she's that good. <laughs> but you know, it doesn't hurt to ask, huh? <laughs> That's right. Either Siri or Jesus. One of them's gonna let us know where the bees are. I'm, I'm gonna put my hope on Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, as Jesus said, Siri. <laughs> All right. Let's find us a queen to vacuum some bees.